Get Cobra. Where does it come from? Uh, ah, probably Taped just up. from the bushes in here. Yeah, I know it's yeah. nice. Yeah, so this is a, it's definitely a Cape Cobra. They come in all kinds of different colors. Yeah, so these colors are good. But he was, he was hooded. Yeah, and there he's making a nice hood now as well. But you'll see, he's just trying to hide at I the moment. See yeah, there, there he is. Um, generally, in general, they'll try and hide. They'll try and get away from you as quickly as they can. They don't spit, they like this. No, Cape Cobras can't spit. But oh, okay. Um, okay. the Mozambique spitting cobra, for example, that can spit. <laughs> that yeah. is the newspaper just as a uh, something for him to hide under. That's it. If I didn't have the newspaper in there, he would have tried jumping out by now. Uh, hey guys, Willemia from Blaberg Snake Rescue. I was just called by someone in Sunningdale who walked into their garage and they heard a hissing sound. And when they switched on the light, they saw there was a Cape Cobra lying there on the ground next to their car. Um, they called me and I went and captured it for them quickly and just talked to them a little bit about snakes and snake safety and what snakes do and all that stuff and now I'm going to release it. I just want to show it to you guys as well real briefly and then we can let it go on its way. So this is a beautiful brown Cape Cobra with uh, yellow speckles as you can see there and a, and a nice yellow belly. Cape Cobras are obviously venomous. They're venomous and very dangerous. You don't ever want to mess with these guys. Um, if one of these snakes bites you they have a neurotoxic venom, which means it affects your nervous system, specifically uh, it has an effect on your breathing. So the snake's venom will cause you to stop breathing, and when that happens, obviously you're not going to be in a very good situation. So if, you're, if you ever see a snake like this, don't try and deal with it yourself. Jeez, it's a bit windy today, I'll pick up all those papers now. If you see a snake like this, don't ever try and deal with it yourself. Rather, you can take a look at snake removal. today. call your nearest snake catcher. They will come out, they will uh, catch it for you, and both you and the snake can be safe. Um, if you or a pet or a friend or a neighbor ever does get bitten by a snake like this, the only thing you can do is to get to a hospital. You have to get to a hospital as quickly as possible, and um, as long as it's a hospital with a trauma unit, they will be able to treat you there. Okay, so let's let this guy out. I want to try and get a nice video of him going on his way so you can see snakes don't attack people, even though I'm standing right here. He's gonna try and find a place to hide. It's only when snakes are cornered and threatened that they become defensive. He's nicely hooding for us and he's just uh, moving off. He's got to go and find a place to hide and there he goes. He's off safely. So you see that even a dangerous snake like this doesn't want anything to do with the humans. It just goes on its own way. Thanks guys. Stay safe.